I'm Olivia, dietitian here at the MLK Health Center and Pharmacy. And today we're gonna to be making three different smoothie recipes. The weather is starting to get a little bit warmer and so smoothies are a great way to fill up with some great nutrients at the same time cooling off from the heat. So we have three different smoothie recipes here. We're gonna be making a classic strawberry banana smoothie, a pineapple paradise smoothie, and a peaches and cream smoothie. What's special about these smoothie recipes is that they're all going to have a serving of vegetables in it. Now I know that might seem a little strange to have vegetables in smoothies, but smoothies are a great way to get in those vegetables because you're gonna pulverize it down to a liquid where you can't even feel the texture of it. The vegetables that we're gonna be using are pretty mild in flavor, so it's not going to be overwhelming in flavor. You're not gonna taste bitter vegetables in your smoothies. These smoothie recipes are gonna have a serving of fruit, serving of vegetables, and a source of protein. And so these are gonna be great ways to stay full in between meals or snacks, which whenever you choose to have this, and will hopefully help to prevent any spikes in blood sugars by having these other ingredients in the smoothie versus a smoothie that is strictly fruit and milk. That can be a lot of carbohydrates and that can cause an increase in blood sugar. So by reducing the amount of fruit, incorporating some vegetables, will hopefully prevent any blood sugar spikes. For our classic strawberry banana smoothie, we are using a half of a frozen banana, a half a cup of frozen strawberries, a half a cup of frozen rice cauliflower, one cup of unsweetened almond milk, and a tablespoon of almond butter. It is gonna be better if these ingredients are frozen, the fruit and the vegetables, but it's not necessary. It does just help to make a creamier texture and you don't need any ice if you have these already frozen, but if you forgot to stick your bananas in the freezer, it'll be okay to use an unfrozen banana. So we're just gonna blend this until smooth. All right, for our pineapple paradise smoothie, we have a cup of frozen pineapple, one zucchini, I went ahead and just chopped it up a little bit, a tablespoon of chia seeds, and then one cup of either coconut water or regular water, whichever you prefer and we will blend it up till it's smooth. And lastly, for our peaches and cream smoothie, we are using one cup of frozen peaches, a half a cup of carrots. I cut them up, just rough chop. About a half a cup of Greek yogurt. I just used this whole container. This is just a little bit more than half a cup of a non-flavored Greek yogurt. Um, you could do a vanilla flavor, but just watch the sugar. We don't want something that has a lot of sugar in it. And then I used about a half a cup of the almond milk. So it's all in the blender. We're just gonna blend it up. If you wanted to add a little extra something to this, you could grate some fresh ginger into the smoothie and that would give it a nice little, little kick, little spice. And that's it. Three very easy, nutrient dense smoothie recipes. If you try any of these recipes, let us know in the comments below and feel free to mix these up. You can use different fruits, you can try different vegetables, different mix-ins, different yogurts, other liquids, other milks, and share that with us. Tell us what you like. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.